Tomorrow is September 1st, and midterm elections in the U.S. are just a little more than two months away. Attention is focusing on several races, which could decide whether Democrats or Republicans control the Senate. For more, we turn to CBS News political director John Dickerson. He's in Washington. John, always good to see you. What should we be watching? Well, the, the House of Representatives is almost certain to stay in Republican hands, but the Democrats may lose control of the Senate if they lose six seats that they now hold. Now, three of those Democratic seats in uh, South Dakota, West Virginia, and Montana are pretty much gone. They're likely to go for the Republicans. That means to win control of the Senate, Republicans would need to win just three of about half a dozen races taking place on Democratic turf in states like Iowa, North Carolina, Arkansas, and Louisiana. Now, Democrats have two chances to take seats from Republicans in Georgia and Kentucky, where Republican Mitch McConnell would love to become leader of the Senate if his party took control, but he has to survive his own race first. How much, John, will we see the president out campaigning for candidates this fall? We won't see him in these tough uh, battleground states. Democrats do benefit from the president. He can raise money uh, and he can rally the base of the Democratic Party. And that's important in a non-presidential election year when Democrats don't turn out to vote the way Republicans do. But the president is not popular. His national approval rating is just above 40 percent. And in these competitive states, he's not he's even less popular than he is nationally. So what Democrats are trying to do is they're trying to keep the elections about local issues, including the flaws of their opponents. Anything that focuses on the unpopular president might rally Republican voters or at the very least distract from a Democratic candidate's local message. John Dickerson, thank you very much.